welcome back to my channel. It's Kill here. This is my face that you'll be seeing four or six times a week. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and double whack that notification bell so you'll never miss another video from me. And today, I figured since I don't really talk a whole lot about like facts about me, that I would give you guys a little bit more of an insight to me by giving you guys. 25 random facts about me. I think we're doing jazz hands today. I don't know what we're doing here. I'm gonna give you guys 25 facts about me and I have to say some of these uh I probably have mentioned in past videos but you guys really just probably didn't listen hard enough. Like no maybe yeah. So without further ado let's get into these 25 facts about moi. So the first one, everyone is shocked by this. I don't know why everyone's shocked about it. I guess I just don't talk about it much. And that would be that my middle name is Meredith. And a lot of people are like, what? No, it's not. No, it's not. And not yes, my middle name is Meredith. My mom actually was trying to make my first name Meredith, but she couldn't come up with a good middle name. So, you know, she, her friend Keely like, inspired her for my first name, Keely, and my middle name to be Meredith because she still wanted Meredith to be a part of my name. So, yeah. number two, I am a miracle child. And I know a lot of people are like, well, isn't everybody a miracle child? Everyone was born? Yes, yes, everyone, everyone is a miracle. And the reason why I say I'm a miracle child is because one, I was born like really early. My birthday was supposed to be at the end of May and I was born April 5th. And my mom had two things going on. I never remember the names of them because the names are so long. But long story short, if my mom had not gotten to the hospital and had me when she did, her nor I would be here and neither would my sisters. So it, it's a miracle that I'm actually here. But luckily, I'm here as a miracle child and my mom is still with me and it's just amazing. <laughs> Number three is something that's shocking too that a lot of people have now learned about me just don't know the number on it. So I've mentioned that I've gotten bullied before. What a lot of people don't know is that it's been going on for 15 years. You're probably like, how on earth do you have the nerve to come on social media and YouTube? And here's the thing, I don't know. I think I'm personally nuts for putting myself out here like this, but I've always admired those that put themselves out like into the world. So I wanna be one of those people. Number four, and my family has 16 pets. That includes cats, dogs, guinea pigs, and a rabbit. What can you do? I really feel like those of us that came from up north like really have a lot of pets. Is that like really up north or really down south? I really, I don't know. I don't know what it is with us and animals, but yeah. <laughs> Number five, I don't know how many times this gets people, <laughs> but <laughs> I am 20 years old. I'm, I'm 20, you know, two, zero, 20. Number six, I am OCD about my phone. I have color coordinated folders. Everything is labeled just as so I have, so when you like flip up your screen, at least on Android, you see all those apps. All of my apps are on one screen because they are all in their little individualized folders. Number seven, I don't find this like embarrassing to say just because the story behind it was like really cute. Okay, my nickname is Bug and I I love the story behind it because when I was born, I was really, really small. Like I was really tiny, preemie. And with me like wrapped up all in my little blanket and I had my hat on, my family said that I looked like a glow worm. And that's essentially how my nickname became Bug because I might have one of a little bug. And if you know, I don't know how many people know these. I'll try to find a picture and put it somewhere. But there was a doll, I think it was called Glow Worm. And it had the little hat, it was wrapped up in a blanket, and when you hugged it, it's little cheats lit up. And I had one for the longest time. I don't know where it ever went, but that that's how I got my nickname. My favorite color is purple. Hence, my big purple. I am an ultimate dog lover, hence dog, dog. My dog's outside, you know, yeah. 
dog lover. I love dogs. I, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't like dogs. I like school. I enjoy school up until the point where I have a mental breakdown and then you know I have to reset and then I like school again. <laughs> Number 11, I live on YouTube. You guys, I follow so many YouTubers. I watch their videos. I get inspired. I feel like when I watch YouTube videos that's kind of empowering to me because it like inspires me to be like those on YouTube that like can influence people and you know, help them change their lives. 12. I am 100% against drinking and smoking. Now I don't know if it's because it drives me nuts, if it's stinky, if it's just bad for you in general. I don't know. 13. I do believe I said this in one of my previous videos but I hate, hate, hate hate walking around barefoot. I can't stand it. 14. I cannot, literally cannot sleep without my dog or a dog. Like I even go to my best friend's house and their dog who is such a sweetheart, like I, I love her. She, she is like a cuddle monster, like it's, it's crazy. And then you know she'll tackle me and then I, I can't get up, but you know. So I sleep in their guest room and their dog will come and just lay right next to the guest bed and like while I'm sleeping and like you know I asked my best friend about it she's like I don't think she's ever done that before so I don't know that's how it is over there and here at my house I have to sleep with my dog Angel 15 uh, I watch Hulu every single night before bed I know that is so so bad for you 16 my absolute favorite season is autumn aka fall and that is mainly because girls that is when we get to bust out our leggings boots and comfy dumpy sweaters plus our stars like my mom she makes these circle stars you guys will see a ton of them when fall hits when it actually hits in texas which is like november maybe december my everyday jewelry is my class ring and my name necklace 18. And I love Chinese and Mexican food. No, I'm not racist, but I love Chinese and Mexican food. 19, I really did not learn how to cook until this year and it kind of forced me to when I had to go gluten and dairy free. So 20, I am a technology nerd, especially when it comes to computers and phones. I'm not ashamed. I am not ashamed. Bill Gates, Bill Gates, I'm not ashamed and I, I like fandrel over technology, you guys. 21, I love thrift stores because they always have the best deals and you never, ever, ever know what you're gonna find. Like, I found so many things at the thrift store. People are like, oh my gosh, where'd you get that I'm like at thrift store? 22, I am a sheltered person. If you ever see me in public, I'm probably going to be like closed, like, you know, shelters, shelters, what? shoulders closed like on my phone or writing in my notebook you know fidgeting my legs like i i don't really do well with the outside world as of right now 23 my absolute favorite music artist even to this day is miss taylor swift and you guys i am like itching for her new album to come out oh my gosh i just i want to see what all she's come up with oh my god the first youtuber that I ever consistently watched, like every time she uploaded a video, watched every single one of her videos, is Bethany Moda. One of my main inspirations to have a YouTube channel, you guys, and I know that she's kind of gone off of YouTube because of, you know, certain reasons, like why I actually live her life and not just like live in front of a camera or, you know, worry about taking Instagram posts and stuff like that. But like, I love her. She's a huge inspiration to me. And the 25th thing that I feel like a lot of people might relate to is I am very, very passionate about helping and helping save and rescue um, dogs and cats around my city. And I just, if, if there's a stray dog or cat, like I have to put it on Facebook. I have certain pet groups I'm a part of with my mom, or I have to try to catch it, call animal control, um, take it to a shelter. Okay you guys, so those are 25 things about me. I really hope you guys gained a little bit of a better like insight to who I am as a person. And feel free to let me know down in the comments below what is something that most people may not know about you. Like, what is something that you rarely tell people that maybe, you know, would get people to understand you more or have a better understanding for who you are? 
And with all of this being said, I am going to ask you guys once again to please give this video a big thumbs up, whack that subscribe button down below, and double whack that notification bell so you never miss another video from me. And you guys, I will see you in my next video with this beautiful face of mine. So, yeah. Bye, you guys.